What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And at this point, so much crazy stuff happens every single week. I can't even remember all of it. But before we dive into the nonsense, we're going to read some reviews from my lovely customers. Five star review for the natural bug spray. Actually pretty great. If you're in the south and shooting slingshots in the woods, you're practically begging to be eaten live by bugs. After applying this stuff, they'll at least circle around me until it wears off. So be sure to reapply as needed. I do get a very few bites over several hours, which for practically swimming and starving bugs is five star performance. A good variety of ingredients too. Five star review for the Frankie's Naturals Moisturizing Cream. Best review on the market. This is by far the best moisturizer I've ever used. It hydrates my skin better than anything else I've ever tried. I love that it has emu oil because it's rejuvenating the skin. Also, no toxic chemicals. Five star review for the Collagen Bone Broth. The healing powers of this broth is not to be underestimated. I'm going through shoulder rehab and been sipping this broth consistently for the past couple weeks now. I feel like the elasticity in my joints are improving. I always feel really good the day after drinking the broth. Thank you, Frank. Five star review for the water keeper. Holy smokes, amazing for gut health, digested dinner perfectly, felt super relaxed and slept amazing. Tasted dry and extra special. As always guys, I'm happy and excited that you enjoy all of the products, creative, quality and affordable that I come up with. Uh, I did want to remind you that shipping is free over $100 guys on Frankie's syringe meat because there's still a few people placing like a $60 order, then they'll pay 60 for shipping. And I got to try to get a hold of them to be like, Hey, can I cancel your order so you can place a new one with, so just so people get more product. Of course, if you guys missed last week, we did launch the eggs and we've shipped some out so far without any issues, you know, maybe like a few eggs broken one order and we, you know, immediately always issue you guys a refund for anything. So it looks good. looks pretty promising. Uh, for sending the eggs out. The main thing that I've been trying to get fixed last week and this week is the bar machine for the pemmican, the best bars, all that stuff. I actually have a guy here trying to fix it now. Uh, originally, we thought it was a replacement part needed. So it took about two weeks to get that part in. And then I spent another week trying to get a machine down to the correct size. So we've been without him for three weeks. Now I got a guy here because uh, we think the motor's burnt out and it's not the part. So hopefully we can get it fixed this week. If not, guys, I got a hundred silicone molds coming in tomorrow. I'm going to make these bars by hand at this point because uh, uh, we need to start selling them. So scratch that guys. We got the bar machine working. I mean, it's kind of like ghetto janky machinery. We, we flipped the sides. One side had broken gears in it. So point is it should be working. We should have bars available for you guys this week. So let's hop in the freezer real quick. I think we have a few things back in stock this week, but uh, more importantly, a lot of stuff is coming in. A lot of stuff is coming in tomorrow and Thursday. Some organ meats we've been missing, some pork fat. So definitely keep an eye out, guys. So you guys have been buying the local Angus beef. I think we only have about 10 orders left. This is one thing we got back in stock last week, guys. This is the wild boar bacon. It's a lot leaner and much stronger flavor than the pork or the beef. Pork bacon back in stock as well, guys. We were sold out of the pork bacon for uh, a few weeks. I know some of you guys had an issue with there being too much fat but now we make sure to select the less fatty cuts of the bacon because sometimes it's almost pure fat. So of course, guys, any issues, please email me, let me know. For the pork, we do have all the ribs back in stock. We have the baby back ribs as well as the St. Louis ribs. I think I showed you guys this a few weeks ago. We do have the lamb breast. Uh, we were missing that for a few months, but now we have it. The rabbit kidney and rabbit liver is back in stock. These are packaged one kilogram. Uh, so it's more affordable, but not as convenient. And we do have some whole beef belly available, guys, but, uh, you know, we'll just slice this up. Granted, no one wants them. We did restock the chicken stock for you guys, and we have the collagen beef broth as well. So we got a pretty good price on some ground wagyu beef. This is going to be $8.50 a pound. This is actually kind of replacing our regular 80-20 because we ran out. In addition to the 80-20 ground wagyu, we do have 80-20 ground chuck available. This is freshly ground pure chuck. Uh, so it's nine dollars a pound it's not cheap to do guys so we're getting a few odds and ends back in stock this week but the main thing is the beef liver should be back and some beef tendons hopefully i can get some bones in a week or two hopefully i can find a source for beef fat because that is a concern because we use the beef fat for the pemmican and the best bars and all that stuff but we have a uh, an option on the table to talk about later that might alleviate all those problems 
I did get a call from the butcher last week and he wants to make the products now. He should actually be doing it today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So we should have hot dogs, sausages, charcuterie. Uh, speaking of hot dogs, guys, this is the last week to order before July 4th. So if you guys want some steaks to arrive before the weekend for July 4th, Monday, this is the week. So if I recall correctly, we should have a few hundred pounds of hot dogs, some Italian sausage, some plain sausage, uh, pork breakfast sausage, uh, maybe some bologna as well, maybe some bacon, but it's all organic custom spice blend, guys, highest quality meat, grass-fed possible. So I'm looking forward if we can get that in by the end of this week for next week. This is how the eggs will arrive to you guys. Um, three fragile stickers, big box, 12 dozen eggs. So in addition to the regular roast beef, which is cooked rare, it's delicious. It's about $12 for this portion. I got a little creative and decided to do a fire roasted ribeye. So this is even a little rarer than the roast beef. Um, very, very delicious guys, but it's ribeye, so it's expensive. This is uh, almost double the price. This is $20 for the portion. Uh, I've been having this uh, for lunch the past few days. I've been really enjoying it. so. Definitely try it out. Let me know how you guys like it. Maybe we'll do a little more seasoning on it next time. I don't think we really have anything going on downstairs for the other businesses. Organ supplements. Uh, we should have a new exciting uh, product line coming, but that's two or three months away. So I don't really want to talk about it now. Wi-Fi shielding, same thing. We got stuff coming maybe a month and a half, two months away for that. So I'm not going to hold my breath. Frankie's Naturals, I don't think I showed you guys last week, we do have the deodorant in the new size now. So this is the new four ounce glass jar we're gonna have on Frankie's Naturals. And it's actually like five ounces, so uh, you're getting more than double the product for less than half the price. So you guys are getting a really good deal. This should actually last you, you know, four, five, six months worth of deodorant, and it's only $20. Save you a lot of money and it's the healthiest option on the market. Welcome to my office. And I didn't really go into it too much, but guys, trying to get that bar machine fixed these past two weeks has been a nightmare. I drove to like four different machine shops to try to get that part change. Oh, it, it, bad, bad, bad. Um, best news so far, there is a slaughterhouse for sale very far upstate New York. It's six hours away. So I'm actually going to take a flight to like the nearest town next week drive over there and then fly back at night just to take a look at the place. Now, the seller was willing to like work with me on the financing stuff, but the bigger issue is I probably still have to get a loan because the location isn't close enough for me to have this warehouse and that business out there and be in two places at once. That's not a possibility. Therefore, I'd have to relocate myself and this business over there. Problem is, it doesn't have all the structures and everything I need. So, you know, am I going to be able to get enough money on a loan to be able to build everything I need over there to completely relocate? That would be nice, you know? I'd get out of the city, I'd have the slaughterhouse, I'd be able to film in there more, show you guys more meat processing, ultimately higher quality product. Thing is, it's not the best location. I'm not sure if I could logistically relocate my guys because this is not a small operation down here guys we're sending a large amount of orders every week it's a lot of work i have three employees working six seven days a week full time you know it's, it's a lot a lot of work so for me to have to go out there maybe train new staff have a new it, it, it's a big deal it's a big deal if i had a million dollars i wouldn't care you know i wouldn't care but um we'll have to see i'm looking forward to going out there in two weeks uh, that would be pretty big but We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll take a look at the place. It's, it's never cheap, guys. Processing plants never cheap. So the loan's gonna be pretty big and I'm not sure what they're gonna say when they see all of the lawsuits in my name. Uh, so maybe we can get the loan, maybe we can't. Either way, we'll figure something out. Um, you know, we, we got the eggs in from the Amish this week. Uh, we're gonna have that other butcher make us some products. So, you know, things are going, things are going, things are going, but I, I really, I, guys, I can't. The reason I had a business partner three years ago when I started this business is because I didn't feel like I was physically healthy enough to be down here and do this myself with my liver damage. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm killing myself, losing my mind every day, trying to figure this stuff out, but I haven't dropped dead yet, so we'll see how it goes. 
I, I joke all the time about being on a beach in Colombia or meeting some Russian girls. Like, if I was half a foot taller or I spoke Spanish, that's what I'd be doing. I don't have an excellent backup plan yet, but let me stop complaining for this week. Um, and then hopefully more stuff continues to pan out and I continue to get you guys more exciting products. The reason that Slaughterhouse deal is so important now, you know, with the unreliability of my meat suppliers and, you know, we have a problem with a truck coming to this location and the dispatch guy told me that they're not going to deliver here anymore unless I have a forklift. Problem with the forklift, I didn't realize how expensive they were. I can't afford one. A forklift is like $15,000 or a thousand a month to rent. That's insane, insane insane prices and even if I get a forklift I'm gonna have to come down here I'm not always down here usually my guys unload the truck so I'm gonna have to come down here to operate the forklift for the delivery every single time which those two things for me we'll see we'll see but obviously if I have my own place and I'm processing myself and I have I don't have to worry about stupid stuff like this you know something something happens every week guys you know something crazy happens every week I got Stuff breaking, I got vendors don't want to deal for one reason or another, something always happens. Thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses, including Frankie's Free Range Meat, where you can order some eggs. Oh, I forgot to say this too. We have like 10 orders of eggs left, guys, so they might be gone by the time this video is posted. Uh, the fire roasted ribeye, newly available. Definitely try it out, guys. Maybe not even put it on a sandwich. I think it would be great just on its own on a plate for dinner. That, that's how you'd really enjoy the flavor of it. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'm, I'm really excited to taste those hot dogs, be able to have them myself. Um, but thanks again, guys. And I'll see you for the next video.